guys, today I'm going to show you how to make DIY puka shell bracelets. The first thing you're going to need are some perler beads. And just start separating the colors you need. The traditional puka shell bracelet uses white, but I'm using white and black. Then you'll need some pegboards. Mine just came with a set and begin placing your beads on the pegs. Make sure you keep some space between them because when you iron them, you don't want them to touch. Then place some parchment paper on top of the beads and use your iron to lightly flatten the beads. This part does take a while, but after some time, the beads will start to flatten. Make sure you're equally flattening all the beads because you want them to be around the same size. Then just peel off the parchment, and most of my beads stuck on the parchment, but the pieces that didn't, you can just place them back on the parchment. And now you're going to iron the other side. So place some more parchment and use your iron to flatten. Now you're just going to peel the parchment again and there you have your beads. As you can see some of the beads will have a two layer look to it but don't worry because when you string the beads together it'll end up looking realistic. Now just peel the beads off of the parchment paper. Some of my beads ended up not ironing enough and they were too thick, so if this happens to you, you can just re-iron them. Once you have all of your beads, you might notice that some of the holes have melted together. One way to create a new hole is by using a needle and just pushing it through the bead. Another way is by using a hole puncher. I got this from Michaels and all you have to do is center it on your bead and just pinch it through. One problem with this is that it creates an extra piece of plastic so you can just use a nail cutter to cut it off. Once you have finished making holes in all of your beads, you can start stringing them. I also got the string from Michaels. And to measure the string, wrap it around your wrist and cut it off about five to six inches longer than the desired length. This way you can knot it at the end. Now just make a double knot on one end to prevent the beads from falling through. Then start stringing your beads. If you want to make a multicolor bracelet, you can make mostly white sections and then small sections of any color. For this instance, I'm using black. Once you are finished with your beads, make a double knot on the end of your bracelet. Then cut off the excess. And you are finished with your DIY puka shell bracelet.